Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. We're going to take a look at the dollar versus Canada. It's breaking two new session highs and in the process testing some key moving averages. So let's get started. Before moving to the upside, the price initially of this uh, pair mo uh, moved to the downside. That was helped by a stronger jobs report out of Canada, at least on the surface, it looked that way. Uh, the number of jobs added was uh, was uh, stronger than expectations. However, all those jobs were uh, centered in the part-time employment. In fact, the full-time employment jobs uh, actually declined. Uh, we also had that CPI revisions come out in the U.S., and that was initially a dollar selling, but uh, we uh, saw that, that that reversed the trend as well, uh, as it really wasn't all that big big a deal. Uh, the price low, however, moved down into a swing area from a technical perspective. That swing area came between 133.98 and 134.14. Also in that area was the 38.2% retracement and the move up from the October low down here to the February high up here. Uh, and that uh, level uh, was a approach, but not really uh, reached. Uh, we also have this uh, 200 bar moving average uh, down here, which uh, was in play. But again, it too wasn't uh, uh, wasn't uh, reached. So we did see the rotation back to the upside. And in the process, what do we see? We saw the price move back above the 100 uh, or the 200 hour moving average. That's a green line in this chart right here. Uh, also, the uh, one uh, the 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart right here, and that opened up further upside momentum here, taking a price above the high for the day in the process. And uh, since then, the uh, pair is now t testing new highs for the day and in the process is uh, testing uh, the 100 200 day moving average that's a green line, overlay line here and the 100 hour moving average uh, those levels come between 134.76 and 134.83 we would take a move above both those levels to increase the bullish bias for this pair from a technical perspective uh, the price would have to stay above those those levels recall from yesterday the price moved above both those levels right through here but we moved up to this uh, high price from the previous day and found willing sellers near the 134.92 level so uh, getting above that 100 hour moving average 200 day moving average would also have to attend with the 134.92 level just by the, f the fact that the price highs over the last well yesterday and the uh, previous day all stalled at that 134.92 level so be aware be prepared on the downside if the uh, price does find willing sellers against this 100 bar moving average rotation back toward the moving averages uh the uh 100 bar moving average a four hour chart 200 hour moving average would be in play so right now we are sort of in between the uh, cluster of moving averages here testing some key moving averages on the top side including the 200 day moving average we'll see if the market can get above those levels or do we find the sellers leaning against those moving average levels my name is greg michalowski good fortune with your trading bye bye now